Oh, beautiful planet nourishing all, at least those that don't by famine fall, writhing delirious, giving to God, or Jesus, or Buddha, or Sarasad. As the glazed look of death comes over their eyes, it's time for tea, mate, and to my surprise, to get survive. The devil and the Antichrist. That deadly duo, we drank beer till we were full, then hit whiskey out my head. I drank too much and shat the bed. Whilst my two guests sat there in verbal osmosis, picking the scabs off each other's psychosis. I must have passed out. I fell into a dream with two spiral staircases with a space in between. At the top of each end was me, looking at myself, but I couldn't cross over in case one of me fell. When I first seen myself, it was like love at first sight. When I woke up, I found it was already night. My two guests had gone. Thank fuck for that. They should have recorded their spiel on a dart. Somewhere in the distance, I could hear a booming, really low frequency, like danger looming. I realised the beating was inside my head and I remembered, Christ, last night I shot the bed. I let you go clean it up. I'm no drinking no beer and no bloody whiskey with that fucking pair. I'll buy some food and score some hash. But first I'll make you fund some cash. The last I had went on drink, I just sat down. I had to think. I thought till dawn come peeking through and still I didn't care what to do, so I went back to my bed. Still soiled and shite. I slept on it and woke up in eternal night. The pang in my chest sustained a heaving flow like the weeping of ages I was too young to know. A dull ache contracted the skin on my skull. I ransacked the hoose and fund one more bottle. I drank some and soon all my pain would subside it. I cleaned up my bed and I got the hoose tied it. Still try to think of a way about money, I could be a comedian. I'm sometimes quite funny. So I started an act on my living room flare, pretending to be a quiz show compare, blathering a wall with a glass in my hand, the right heed the ball shouting, strike up the bond. Then my reflection caught me in a stare. And I thought, for fuck's sake, there's nobody there. You hate to get out there, meet people in mix, going out to discos and picking up chicks. So I went out and who did I meet in the street? Big Glesky, John and his wee brother Pete. They were needing a horn for robbing a chemist. I says that a day, I'm not all that pissed. For what was added, I was really well paid. Two bottles of Lictus and some razor blades. I went to the pub. I sell the blades for a tenner and went home with this woman, though I never kent her. We both hit the Lictus out the wee cup. I gave her the tenor for a stony up. I started to shag her, she started to moan. It can last for ages on methadone. And just as my groins were gone, he explode. She pissed herself, screaming, I'm coming my own. I jump back thinking, this bird's a nutter. I tell her to fuck off and die in the gutter. The room started clinging and stinking of piss. I felt I was falling into an abyss. I looked for the link this. The bottle had gone. That bitch must have took it when my back was turned. But I still had another in my jacket pocket. My horn started shaking when I went there and got it. The wee cup was warm to my trembling touch. I drank some. And watched not a cracker much. And I stretched out on the couch just wanting to sleep. Seeing ochres, magentas and indigos deep. I vaguely recall I was needing a shite. When I woke up, I'd done it during the night. I woke up at the time the bairns come him to the skill. Their voices went screaming by my windy sill. I lay there motionless, minding times when I was a wee lad, about nine or ten. Life was so easy then, life was so good. This world has grown sleazy since my childhood. I grabbed a wee bottle and got to gosh doon. The bairns' voices faded off into the tea. The licht faded with a mist hung in the air. I got up off the couch and I sat in the chair. I felt really sad and I started to cry. Drink the hell bottle and see if you die. So I wrote out a note in the time-honoured manner. 
and I drank the wee bottle of the Rawana. I was out of my body, over my head, still joined onto my plexus by a silver thread. I watched myself heave and choke on my vomit, then in burst two policemen with bees in their bonnet. A big zipper opened up right across the flare and I went spinning down the hole like in my worst nightmare. I landed on a pure white pier like honey in there at Brighton. The sand and surf reflected extraordinary lighting. Two fellas stood a bit away in quiet conversation and I recognised the taller one in the book of Revelation. I'm no certain of the other one but I'm sure that he was Buddha. Then I noticed somebody else heard my left shooter. With a russet coat and nicky thumbs, it must be Robbie Burns. He stared intensely out to sea, and then towards me turns, I shouted, What are you looking at? No sure if he would hear it. And to the hazy pints and says, I'm waiting for McDermott. I went out to him and asked him, Is this place here really heathen? He said, It all depends on if that's what you believe in. And that pair there, he pointed out where Jesus and Buddha stood. I swear I'll strangle both them when I'm in a bastard mood. It's no, it's all crap took to be, that's for fucking sheer. I'm telling you then, pair as you've been, you're better off doing there. And just like that, I was staring at a wee scream going bleep bleep and minding of what Robbie Burns felt me. I snuggled off to sleep deep. When next I woke, the doctor spoke and asked how I was feeling. I used the line, oh, I'm feeling fine, and stared up at the ceiling. You've got two visitors, the doctor said, and they've waited for ages. Then walking in, the two policemen were turning over their pages. We want a man, the one began, that answers your description. For ripping off a chemist's gaff and removing drugs without prescription. It was not me. I said to see if they could be persuaded. Ah, you are seen, they intervened, and then my hopes just faded. They charged me, laid prostrate, in intensive care, saying, We'll see you in court, and you better be there. Then bang! My plexus bang and shifted, and just like that, the pressure lifted. I threw up my arms and I started to laugh. The police started shouting for the medical staff. I jumped above the bed and I pulled out my drip before a policeman restrained me with a punch on the lap. The doctor rushed in, the policeman protested, saying, This fellow's fit enough to be arrested. I was gruffed and threw in a cell at the station, suffering free sensory deprivation. 